Calm down, Koharu! That's too close! You'll fall in too! No! On that day, our lives... that had been blessed more than most. In an instant. No, I don't want to die with you. Flew off the rails. No signal. Am I dead? <sighs> well, that was strangely anticlimactic. I don't think I forgot anything. The street collapsed. Ronze and I were hurt. And then she said something. Her last words to me? Was that what she really thought about me? I'm not sure what I think about that. But now that I'm dead, I guess it doesn't matter. is this? A crystal tree? I don't see the moon and the horizon is MIA. Not sure where the sun is either. Those floating islands means this isn't Earth. Wherever this is, I doubt it's safe. Japanese too? My name is Mayura Tsukishiro. Do you know where we are? I'm not sure. When I woke up, I was here. I don't remember anything else. My memories all seem intact. It was Saturday when everything happened. Ranze, Mitsuhide, Koharu, and I were hanging out. School, friends, I remember it all. Could she have lost hers? Yours is the same as mine. What? You mean my hair? Yes, we both have the same hair color. It's natural. I hate the way it makes me stick out, though. Huh? Hey! I 
don't know why, but I'm really excited right now. How about you? I didn't bother asking Mayura about her hair color. Not after she said she didn't remember anything. And I was more worried about her behavior. It seemed unnatural. Where are you going? I was hoping to find some food somewhere around here. Uh, I don't think I want to go any further. It's kind of scary. I don't think it'll happen, but if a monster shows up, I'll deal with it. Okay, but please don't do anything reckless. Oh man. Mayura, look out! What should we do? It looks like it's going to attack. Don't worry, I'll find some way to chase it off. This should be easy.
That went pretty well. Let's get started. Work, everyone. This should be easy. We kept the damage to a minimum. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. It's not as bad as it looks. But you're hurt! Surprisingly, this may actually work. Who was that? Who's there? I heard a man's voice. <gasps> Kanata! Your wounds! They're healing! Uh, uh huh? What the... Uh, I feel lighter. Stronger, too.
Do you think these are edible? I guess I get to be the guinea pig. What the? Mmm, they're yummy. You're right, they are. But try to be more careful in the future, okay? Sorry, <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. Let's head back. I want to be out of here before it gets dark. All right, let's go. What it is? A firefly, maybe. Nah, can't be. It doesn't look dangerous, at least. Mayura, stay back, okay? Ugh, I'm sick of this place. Where are we? Where are Kanata and Ronze? Easy, Koharu! Calm down! Damn it, what's going on here? Those voices... Koharu and Mitsuhide? Oh, you heard voices again? Are they your friends? Didn't you hear them too, Mayura? Um, no. I didn't hear anything. Is that so? I think that some of my friends ended up here as well. What? Maybe I'm developing some form of synesthesia? Probably not. Well, if your friends really are here, I hope we can find them. Yeah, me too. Mitsuhide and Koharu, are those two really here? Synesthesia thing you mentioned before? Oh, that? It's a rare condition that very few people have. Some might even call it a special ability. Basically, some sensations connect to other totally unrelated ones. For example, sounds having a color. Something you touch having a taste. I don't think hearing voices from a crystal falls under that, though. It's just... Thinking it might helps me deal with it, I guess. That's so strange. Uh, that's just me desperately trying to explain things away, you know? What if that power did let you hear your friends' voices? That'd be neat. Neat, huh? Both Koharu and Mitsuhide sounded confused and scared. I hope they're okay. <laughs> 